Sup dudes, what's going on guys here? My name is Buzz and today we're going to be looking over some of the worst hacks ever in Roblox. So we have five and some of them are really good and some of them are just flat out, flat out dumb. What I want for you guys to do today is comment down below if you could hack Roblox, what would you do? Yeah, otherwise than that, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right guys, so we have five we're going to look over and uh, there's like two that are kind of considered hacks, but overall it's just some bad incidents that have been happening or who, that have had happen in Roblox. These are in no particular order. So our first one, we're going to go with one of the worst ones ever. I think it is probably the worst one ever. And it is when I think it would basically happened in April 1st, 2012. It was the April Fool's hack. You can look it up on the Wikia. I'm going to go ahead and it's like right there. Where I'm showing you, you right now. The link will be in the description. Basically, it's three guys named Minish, Feedy, and McNoobster. Love the name. Love the last name, by the way. And they went ahead and basically people were getting tons of free Robux just buying hats for like the lowest price possible and they went ahead and they took items from Roblox. I think they made like an item through the name of Roblox and Roblox didn't even own it. Everyone thought it was one big April Fool's Day joke but turns out it was an actual hack. Telemon and like Shedletsky were two guys that like basically cleared it up and like hey these are this was this is not this was not us. People were selling amazing, amazing hats for tons of money, buying them for like a dollar, one Robux, one Robux, and everyone had like all these great and amazing items. It was actually kind of nice. Well, that ended up working out not very well. They got that hat for a solid day. So, so if you had it, I hope you wear it, wore it well. Because Roblox took back all the Robux and all of the items from most every player, I'm not sure if anyone got away with it, but to my knowledge, they did not get away with it. Those three players were banned. They, they created some sort of smiley face. There was like a C and like it was two colons right there or two dots. I don't even know what they call it. I think it's a colon. The face is this right here uh, and that has now become infamous. It is probably the only time Roblox has had a major, major hack. Our next one's going to be a kid named Cool Kid. I guess he's a kid. Probably not. But in the summer of 2014, he was one of the major hackers who hacked many games and was able to derive a script called the Cool Kid GUI. He hacked a bunch of games like work at pizza place natural disaster survival top model him and his squad would go around just like flying everywhere playing music and just doing whatever they basically wanted there were there were rules they said okay we are going to break the rules the squad team cool kid was just infamous from that they ruined a lot of the roblox games because they would go in and ruin people's experiences i mean if you were just walking around you see a guy flying and raining it down on you it's like a prestige hobby in Call of Duty. You're like, yeah, it's kind of fun at first. It's neat, cool, but you you end up wanting to play the game. It was probably just a kid who found who happened to come across this uh, this this error in Roblox and said, "Oh, I'm gonna do the worst thing possible. I'm gonna ruin everyone else's experience." At least the guys in the previous one, they went ahead and they were like, "Hey, uh, we're gonna give away free Robux hats. So it's gonna be great, joyous time." No, these guys went ahead and said, hey, screw you, I'm having fun, you're not having fun, you're, you're definitely not having fun. Just a jerk. After that, we have a the John Doe hackings, uh, the John Doe hackings, and I want to put everything, like clamp every hacker hacking group there is in this one little shell of, I'm going to call it the John Doe hackers. Basically, on March 1st, 2017, uh, John Doe was supposed to come around. Hey, uh, he was like one of the first few accounts ever made on Roblox. And he was supposed to rain it down on everyone and take over all Roblox. And ever since then, ever since that one date, every date, every day this year has been claimed to be a major hacking event. I mean, shoot, now we have guys like XXX, Hacker Kid, 69720, No Scope. Those guys are coming out of the woodworks claiming they're hacker groups and they're just getting banned. I mean, shoot, even I made it. It was called the Real Roblox Hacks, like Real Hacker, Hacks for Real. That's That was the group. I made it and I claimed it was like August 21st I was going to hack people. People just do it now. Use People use fear to get people to follow them. There are no real Roblox hackers. The only hackers there are are the ones on like Vermilion and stuff. They can hack Robux here and there, I guess. And I, I think they can actually get Robux hacks or Roblox hacks. But it'd be like trying to break the law and planning on breaking the law in the police station. Like, hey, uh, we're going to rob that bank right there. Uh, just don't. Just We're good. We're going to be a nice little militia, a nice upvote. Don't need to worry about Mr. Mr. Police officer, we're good. That's how these these hacker groups are kind of coming around. And the the roadblock staff probably just laughs and are like, 
<laughs> idiot. We got idiots over here. Idiot. Gives them a quick little boot. So dumb. Just so, so dumb. After that, we have the off-topic raids. So off-topic word was basically the part of the form, RIP off-topic. And it was like this where people would talk. There was like a little community. And anytime they had any controversy, they would attack them. They DDoS people. They would, they were just deadly. You don't want to mess with them. They're basically like a 4chan for Roblox. Kids would get there and they would just completely ruin other kids' careers. Just to name off some things, we have versus Kids World. So I guess Kids World is a site they raided. They just, just cause. They also had versus Rebux, which Rebux was like a Roblox, like I'm pretty sure it was a Roblox just total ripoff. Like it had like pretty much the same things all, all together. Well, they raided that. They DDoS the heck out of that. Yes Magazine. They had so many raids from like Meep City, trolling. They were just a, a big memesy group. There's a ton of threads. You can go ahead and check it out online. They're probably one of the funniest ones. Uh, like I, They hacked Starbucks. They didn't hack Star... They, they trolled Starbucks. Out of all the people, Starbucks. Like, one of the guys, like, Skittleblend, claimed that something for, like, a health inspection for Starbucks. Trolled a bunch of people. Got them all to believe they were getting, like, some sort of badge. It was like a Starbucks group. You know, one of those groups. So, they were very controversial with who they, who they trolled. And some of them were good. Some of them were, were for bad. But overall, they did have some hacking incidents. Our last one is the infamous Buzz hacked situation when I got my account hacked back in the day by a hacker. I'm just kidding. I did get hacked though. You can you can get hacked, kids. You can get hacked. I got my account stolen and about it. But really, it's the bots. These are these are the worst hacks. Like the bots are so bad. People people they they infest Roblox, and I didn't think they were there like a year ago. I remember a year ago we weren't really dealing with that issue, but. It, it's ever since the read me, don't click me, there's been new things like read my profile, real minions. They even had like real names after one point. It was like John Smith 43. And you'd get the, oh my God, the, you know, the standard text, the standard text that you see everywhere for Roblox. That standard message is like, you can win free rope, but uh, uh, because they space everything out. All you have to do is go to this website and we'd go on there and it'd be like, you can win free Taco Bell. Yeah. Kind of weird. Actually, really weird. But overall, it was pretty funny to see something like that. Everyone knows. I don't, if you fall, if you've fallen for it, you just don't need to be on the internet. But uh, it's just one of those those easy surveys that everyone always talks about. Everyone has seen that where you can you get offered something free. All you have to do is fill out one survey. I've gone on there. You fill it out, and it just you have to fill out a survey to, to complete that. To complete that, it just becomes one big loop. But they always seem to come back and resurge. Like Roblox wipes them out and they come right back. It's just annoying for people because they infest groups. They follow a bunch of people. And I don't know if they can help it because there's probably some sort of coding that may allows them to kind of bend the rules like that. Bots are everywhere. They're on like every website. They're probably in these YouTube comment section down below right now. I don't know how they do it, but they're, they're at Roblox and they're a full force. Just like YouTube. So if you see one of the comments, start like a comment chain and just roast them. And yeah, otherwise from that, that, that rounds off our list. Um, maybe we talked about how I got hacked, how Roblox itself got hacked, how bots came in, and other groups have been hacking other games. I think I, I think I covered the whole spectrum. If you have any more hacking stories, comment down below. And otherwise from that, we'll go ahead and finish off the video. All right, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please leave a like. Like I said, comment down below. If you could hack Roblox, what would you do? Those were the five words hacks probably of all time in Roblox. If I'm missing something, go ahead and like I said, add to the list. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. You guys have an amazing, sexy day. I'll see you next time. Later.